uh, Asia Pacific is the biggest uh, region, one of the biggest regions that have also uh, many countries uh, together, working together uh, on MDGs. And as UCLG ASPAC represents cities and local governments, we do also working with uh, local governments. Uh, and actually we have been working with local governments on MDGs. And uh, good news about MDGs is that some of the local governments, uh, cities and local governments, because uh, they have uh, got some kind of uh, autonomy or, you know, uh, authority, uh, they manage uh, to do some of the things uh, successfully. Like, for example, uh, in the case of education, uh, some cities and local governments manage to give a free education uh, to uh, you know, uh, students, uh, like uh, primary and secondary school students. There is rapid urbanization in our region, and although we don't have yet uh, people live in the cities, I mean, more than 50% people live in the cities, but the rapid urbanization is quite uh, high. And uh, there are a lot of challenges, uh, like in the case of uh, environment, and of course, uh, unemployment, high rates of employment, and also many people still live in slum, uh, like in India, more than 50 people also uh, live in slum. And there is also diversification in terms of uh, economic level, uh, like uh, there are rich countries and there are very poor countries. So uh, these kind of uh, things um, bring us uh, challenges. Uh, we see that uh, some cities and local governments uh, in few countries also still don't know don't know what MDGs are, mm. although they are, they are doing it uh, in, you know, in their own capacity. Sometimes uh, what I see as a challenge is that uh, it takes time to interpret uh, global goals uh, into local uh, uh, actions. Because uh, in terms of MDG, for example, uh, it took quite a long time to get uh, local governments aware about this. And this is why uh, I think it's very important that as, as an organization, uh, UCLG, we have to make sure that the global agendas are also local agendas, meaning that uh, all the local needs are reflected in the global agenda. For UCLG, uh, we also, I really very fortunate that we have a global task force uh, because through global trust task force you engage uh, with all relevant uh, partners uh, and uh, key players uh, in localizing this uh, post 2015 and then uh, the the effort made by uclg i think is uh, very useful and i think it's good opportunity for all of us to contribute to, to to provide our inputs and, and what we wish, uh, what we want to see, uh, the changes will happen in this uh, world. So.